In this video, we're going to take a look at parenting and grouping. Parenting is the action of placing objects into an organized group. The leader is the parent, and its followers are considered the children. Let's set up a simple scene, and I'm going to dock this menu here and just move it off to the side. And I'll create a sphere and a cube, and let's move this out. And we'll create another cube and move it over there. And we can close that primitive menu. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these cubes. I select the first one. I'm going to hold shift to select the second one. And then I want to parent them to the sphere. And when we say parent them, that means that we're going to make them children of another object or node. So with both of those cubes selected, I'll hold shift again here and select the sphere as my very last object. Notice the color coding here. I have two white objects and one green. The green one is showing me the last object that was selected. So I have my two cubes and one sphere. The cubes were selected first. The sphere was selected last. Now I can hit P. P is in Paul on the keyboard, and that will then parent the cubes to the sphere. So let's see what this means. Now if I select my sphere, notice that my other cubes get selected as well. Now they're not actually selected, but they're being highlighted because they are in a parent-child relationship and they are children of the sphere. Now when I hit W, this will have those objects move with that sphere. Now I can still move them independently. If I select that cube and just drag it over here, and we'll select this one and drag it down here, it still allows me to move them, but they're also still in that parent-child relationship. And if we rotate, they will rotate around the center of that sphere. Whereas if I select and rotate here, it's going to rotate around its own pivot point. And same thing with scaling. Now to break this parent-child relationship, I can select both of my children and hit Shift P. And that will unparent my two objects. Now when I select my sphere, they're no longer attached. Now we also have something very similar called grouping. Now grouping is really the same thing as parenting, but when we group an object, it is grouped to a null object. And basically what that's referring to is an object that has no geometry. It has nothing renderable. To do this, I'm going to select all three of those objects, and I'll hit Control G, and that's going to be the hotkey for grouping. Now when I do that, I automatically get a new pivot point there at the center of the world. And this is my group node. The group node has no visible geometry or shape to it. It is simply a manipulator. And this will work just like a parent-child relationship. The sphere and the two cubes are now children of the group node. And I can grab that group node and move it around as well as rotate, just like what we saw with the parent-child relationship between the cubes and the sphere. And we can ungroup by selecting those and just doing the same operation as the parent, Shift P. And now those are no longer within that group. Now we can also make these objects a child of a child of a child to a parent. I'm going to select the cube and then select that one and choose P. And then we'll select this cube and make it a child of the sphere. Now we have a little hierarchy here. The small to the larger cube to the sphere. And if I select the sphere, that selects the entire hierarchy. And we can move that. If I select this big cube here, it'll only move the smaller. Now we can traverse through this hierarchy by using our arrow keys. If I choose the up arrow, it'll go up to its parent. And at any point in time, we can select that parent and then group it to a group node. And we'll choose Control G. And now it's grouped. 